In a previous video, card up above, we quickly highlighted the top features, coming with iOS 15 this fall. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at FaceTime Links, the features it contains, and a quick how-to, on some of the new updates. First, we'll click on the FaceTime icon on the home screen, to launch FaceTime. After launching, there are three new areas. A Create Link button, New FaceTime button, and a Recent section. If you have no recent FaceTime calls, this section will not display and be blank. After selecting the Create Link button, a lower screen will display. You can name the FaceTime call by clicking on Add Name, naming the chat, then clicking OK. Then, just below that, you'll select the method that you want to deliver the link. You'll have the ability to airdrop the link, message or text, email, and more. In this example, we'll choose to email it. After clicking the mail app, a window will show, where you can customize the recipient, subject, and the body of the email. After that's all completed, send the message and that's it. The recipient only needs to click on the link, to launch FaceTime on their end using a web browser. Back on the initial FaceTime screen, if we select the new FaceTime button, a new window opens up, displaying a suggested list of users you may want to FaceTime with. Select the person or people that you want to FaceTime with, then select FaceTime to start the call. Remember, this section is for people that do have a FaceTime-enabled Apple device only. Now for the actual FaceTime screen. Once you select a FaceTime link call, you'll see this new layout. Along the top, you'll have the join icon, as well as a carrot, that brings you into the FaceTime call settings. This is where you can add additional people, share the link, change to a grid layout, and silence join requests. After clicking done, you'll be back on the FaceTime screen. For the icons along the top, you'll have access to message the FaceTime group, selecting your output device, mute your audio, disable video, and activate screen sharing. The screen share icon will be available once you join the call. Along the bottom, you'll have the effects button, portrait button to blur the background, and switch camera button. An additional features to FaceTime is revealed, when you are on the FaceTime screen, and swipe down from the top right corner, to bring the control center into view. At the top, you'll have two additional settings. One being the video effects button, which allows you to blur the background activating portrait mode, and the other being microphone mode. After clicking the microphone mode button, you'll get three options to choose from. First is standard, which is the regular mode from previous versions. Next is voice isolation, which separate the background noise from the voice, making for clearer calls. And last is wide spectrum, which will pick up all available sounds, both voice and ambient. After clicking the join button at the top, the button will change to leave, allowing you to exit the call. Then the share my screen button will be available to activate. After clicking the share my screen button, the icon will count down from 3 to 1, then changes the status to viewing my screen, and users will be able to see, whatever's displayed on your device. That's most of the updates and features, coming with iOS 15's updated FaceTime application later this year. Let us know in the comments below, if there are other features you'd like us to explore. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.